Namaste Manoj sir. Good morning Stay. everyone and welcome to our May 20 2023 edition of uh, Swar Shravan. Janani janma bhumischa swarga dapi gari yasi. This is a Sanskrit um, sloka from our scriptures which means uh, mother and motherland are superior to even heaven. and uh, in this vein on behalf of swarra school of music a very happy mothers day to all the mothers who are listening to us you know Ma- manoj sir will remind us often that uh, the janani or the mother of all our music whether it is bhajans ghazals bollywood etc the mother of all our music is our shastriya sangeet and uh, this is the opportunity sir gives us every month to listen to some of the great exponents of our shastriya parampara so over to you manoj sir for your presentation sai ram thank you so much shashadri ji and as he wished everybody a very very happy mothers day uh, the same from my side also and today's artist whom uh, we are presenting in front of you is a male vocalist i remember last year sometime we had presented a program on the legendary female vocalist who was an exponent of the semi classical style of music the thumri and that artist was vidushi shobha gortuji and we realized that we had never presented for you any male semi classical exponent and so today we thought that we will present you one such legendary artist who really excelled and became extremely well known purely for his ability as a semi classical musician singing thumri dadra ghazal and other genres of semi classical music although of course as all the great semi classical musicians and any musician for that matter would always do they would they always have a very strong classical music background without which as sheshadri ji just said it's really difficult not just to present any other kind of music but even to appreciate any other kind of music right so so we all know the legendary singer ustad bade gulam ali khan sahab but we are not going to talk about him today because as i said we all know him and we have lots of his recordings available in which he has sung semi classical uh, semi classical music and in fact also pure classical music so he has also sung classical rags in which he renders bada khayal and you know all those genres also of music but today we are going to talk about someone who belonged around the same era as bade gulam ali khan sahab in fact the artist for today was none other than his own younger brother who always remained in the shadow of khan sahab and you know for some reason he did not get the popularity that he really really deserved mainly for two reasons one after the partition in 
our artist for today chose to remain in pakistan and secondly he sadly passed away at a very very young age of 55 in the year 1963 so whom are we talking about today none other than the legendary semi classical singer and vocalist par excellence ustad barkat ali khan sahab yes ustad barkat ali khan sahab uh, we'll be talking about him today and like i said sadly he was not around with us for too long so that we could enjoy more of his music you know 55 is hardly any age in fact that is the age when the musician is at his or her supreme peak in terms of the maturity and uh the years of practice that they would have put in to present their music but even in this short period of time as in the past we have presented for you artists who lived for a very short time but who left an indelible mark on the music scenario so ustad barkat ali khan sahab is one such legendary artist i remember growing up i had always heard ustad bade gulam ali khan sahab until then and one day i just stumbled upon ustad barkat ali khan sahab on the radio where he was singing such a melodious thumri i don't remember the rag probably it was tilak kamod i think but it was just so melodious and you know you know it just felt wow here is a legendary singer who needs to be heard more and since then uh have always followed and heard barkat ali khan sahab and in fact because of uh the session for today that we are uh presenting in front of you got more of an opportunity to listen to his recordings which are fortunately available on youtube so it is just so wonderful to relive all those memories and to listen to some new recordings that i'm sure none of us would have heard so here we go the first presentation for today by khan sahab is a very very famous semi uh, semi classical composition based on rag tilak kamod so tilak kamod just to give you a little bit of uh, a picture of the rag pani sa re ga sa re ma pa da ma ga sa re pa ma ga re sa ni pani sa re ga sa re ma pa sa pa da ma ga sare pa ma ga sare ga sa ni pa ni sa re ga sa and the famous composition that we'll be listening to from ustad barkat ali khan sahab ab ke saavan ghar aaja so here we go ustad barkat ali khan sahab with the thumri ab ke saavan ghar aaja based on raag tilak ka mod set to rupak taal seven beats file info 01 rob tilak camera mp3 8 select selected zip button speech off ha 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 ke sa Yeah, but 
So 
See now, if you listen to uh, the style of uh, Barkat Ali Khan Sahab, you would have noticed that there were lots of sections or passages in which he sang like real quick swars, like. So, but even when he is doing that. It's not sounding harsh in any way, you know. It's just so peaceful. Uh, and the other thing to realize here about the Thumri genre in particular is that you start slow, and then towards the end, if you notice, there was like a crescendo in which the tabla player played like. fast rhythmic patterns and the singer was doing his own variations right that is called the laggi and then after the laggi at the end it just sort of closes down so when the laggi happens the crescendo happens it basically indicates that we are approaching the end of the presentation so it's a very unique style in which tumri is sung and uh, not many people nowadays do exclusive semi classical music very few of them but it's a genre you know sometimes we talk about either pure classical music in which we sing bada khayal chhota khayal or we talk about lighter forms of music like ghazal bhajan geet movie songs of course but we seldom talk about thumri or dadra or chaiti or tappa you know all those semi classical genres which are really very very fascinating so i would really request everyone to listen to barkat ali khan sahab of course but even try to follow all these other semi classical genres also which are extremely fascinating and which have lot of expression because they are quite literature oriented in the sense that they are not purely rag based so you can even mix other rags when you are singing a semi classical composition at the same time give lot of importance to the words and the mood of the composition and express yourself accordingly right so that's the beauty of the semi classical genre of music so it's kind of best of both worlds in which you have 
the steadiness, the calmness of classical music. At the same time, you also get the feel of light music, right? Which is why it is called semi-classical genre. So, so that was an amazing presentation of Raag Tilak Kamod by Barakat Ali Khan Sahab. And you know, for me, I've always felt listening to him that there is some sort of peace and calming effect. If you listen to his older brother, the legendary Bade Gulam Ali Khan Sahib, his style was totally different. Really like, you know, very aggressive, which also had its own charm, of course, no doubt. But this was so different and which is why it caught my attention when I was listening to all different artists on the radio. And this style was something that I had never heard before. So, the next composition is based on Rag Mishra Pilu. Very popular Rag. Lots of light music songs based on this Rag. And this composition that Khasab is going to present for us based on Tal Keherwa, 8 beats. So, um, It's a very unique composition. So, there have been uh, poems or literary work in which the poets or the writers have expressed their thought to Krishna saying, Oh Krishna, can you try to become Radha and try to understand her pain and the feeling of separation from you that she experiences. So can you become Radha once? Like, can you become your own devotee once and see how the devotee feels? What an amazing feeling, isn't it? And to express that feeling, this very beautiful composition in Rag Mishra Pilu that Khan Sahab is going to uh, present for us Tum Radhe Bano Sham Such a beautiful just these four words itself are so strong, uh, strong. Tum Radhe Bano Sham In Rag Mishra Pilu as we all know He Nisare Gar Gar Saani Vani sare gam 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 re ga sare ma ga re sa ga re sa ni Vani sare ma pa ni sa ni pa ga re sa ni sa ga sa So this is Raag Mishra Pilu. So let's listen to this amazing composition by हाँ साहब तुम राधे बनो शाम स्पीच ऑन जीरो टू रॉक फाइल इन जीरो टू रॉक पिलू एमपी थ्री सिलेक्टेड स्लैश टॉप ऑफ स्क्रीन बटन Oh, 
so amazing right uh, and you know if you just think of it you know as we always keep saying that music just has no barriers of religion caste creed race nothing nothing a singer in the 1950s staying in pakistan and i must give you this little bit of a background that what had happened around that time in pakistan unfortunately was the pakistani government apparently was uh trying to uh change some of the hindustani compositions which were written in sanskrit and hindi uh to which many of the musicians were not agreeable and which is why ustad bade gulam ali khan sahab uh, the older brother of barkat ali khan sahab left pakistan and went to india but barkat ali khan sahab chose to remain in pakistan and he changed his track and despite having learned classical music and despite having said in his interview that he loves classical music the most but he changed his track and began singing semi classical music and sitting there in pakistan he sing tum radhe bano sham you know what more proof can there be of the power of music right so it is just simply so amazing and just another proof that there is there cannot be a better binding force than music so after that amazing rendition in rag mishra pilu the next composition is in another very popular rag called rag tilang which also has lots of semi classical and light music stuff uh, available online so rag tilang so something like gam pani sa ni pa ga ma ga so you know for some rags if you just sing like these few phrases the picture of the rag just appears in front of you right there you know pani sa re sa ni pa ga ma ga 
सगम प नी प नी प म म म म नी प ग म ग सा प नी सा ग म प ग म ग सो खान साहब सिंग्स अ वेरी पॉपुलर कॉम्पोजिशन इन राग तिलम बेस्ड ऑन ताल दीप चंदी विच इज ए फोर्टीन बीट साइकिल एंड द कॉम्पोजिशन इज तोरे नैना जादू भरे Let's enjoy. File info: zero three Rob Tillon MP three ten dot five MB two thousand twenty three Groove Rose one to seven. File info: zero three Rob Tillon MP. Select slash speech off. <laughs>
वाह दैट वॉज राग तिलंग फॉर यू एंड इफ यू नोटिस द नेचर ऑफ राग तिलंग इज सच दैट इट काइंड ऑफ इज मोर सेंटर्ड अराउंड द मिडल एंड द हायर ऑक्टिव एंड द वे खां साहब यू नो जस्ट सर्व वॉज ब्रीजिंग थ्रू ऑल दोज नोट्स इट वॉज जस्ट सो अमेजिंग एंड यू नो लिल्ट दैट ही हैज इन इज वॉइस जस्ट सो सूदिंग समटाइम्स आई वॉज टॉकिंग टू समन अबाउट म्यूजिक थेरेपी जस्ट टूडे मॉर्निंग एंड इट वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दैट वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट रिदम एंड हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट इवन रिदम कैन प्ले इन टर्म्स ऑफ थेरापटिक म्यूजिक एंड यू नो सो इफ यू लिसन टू जस्ट लाइक स्लो कामिंग बीट्स दोज बीट्स दम सेल्स कैन बी एक्सट्रीमली सूदिंग एंड ऑफकोर्स अकम्पनीड बाय सम सॉफ्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंटल म्यूजिक so it's it's all like a you know like a team effort isn't it so the beats the notes all combining to eventually give us a very soothing effect right so it is just so amazing that uh khan saab with his style and you know that soothing effect and despite seemingly singing fast passages of swars is still able to calm the minds just by the tone of his voice right and so in fact if you listen to his interview now which is what we are going to present for you next <laughs> he almost sounds like you know like an innocent child talking you know absolute pure innocence in the way he talks as you will hear it's a very short clipping and obviously it's a very old clipping uh, as i mentioned he passed away in 1963 so this interview obviously is taken way before that so so let's listen to this interview by kha sahab barakat ali khan speech on zero file info zero one rock tea lock file info zero four interview mp3 16 dot select selected सुमरी और दादरा नीम क्लासिकी मौसी की सबसे मकबूल और महबूब असना है रिवायत के अवध के हुक्मरान वाजिद अली शाह के सर है जो खुद भी फन मौसी के एक बड़े माहिर और इस फन के बहुत बड़े सरपरस्त थे फिर जमाना जहाँ ठुमरी और दादरे का जिक्र आए वहाँ उस्ताद बरकत अली खां का नाम भी लाजमी तौर पर आता है जो करीब रुबा सदी ऐसी इस बर अजीम में नीम क्लासिक की मौसी के उस्ताद तस्लीम किए जाते उस्ताद बरकत अली खां उन्नीस सौ आठ में लाहौर में पैदा हुए मौसी के घराना एक जमाने से मशहूर है इनके वाल खान साहब अली बख्श खां खुद भी एक नामवर फनकार थे तो गोया मौसी का जौक उस्ताद बरकत अली खां साथ ही लेकर पैदा हुए क्लासी की मौसी की तरबियत में उस्ताद बरकत अली खां को सुर और आवाज पर वो काबू बख्शा है जब आसानी सुरों की छुट्टियां तक अदा कर जाते हैं जवानी में से खासा की शोरत फैलने लगी और पाक और हिंद बर अजीम की शायद ही कोई महफिल मौसी ऐसी रही हो जिसमें आपने शिरकत न की उस्ताद बरकत अली खान से खमाज की ठुमरी आप अभी सुन चुके हैं अब आइए उनसे कुछ बातें करें खान साहब आपने शुरू ही से क्लासी की मौसी सीखी तो ये ठुमरी दादरे से आपको क्यों दिलचस्पी पैदा हो गई मुझे शौक तो क्लासी की मौसीकी से ही रहा है जी और अब भी है तो ठुमरी को भी मैं क्लासी की चीज ही समझता हूँ क्योंकि इसमें भी राग रागनी की पाबंदी जरूर होती है जी फर्क सिर्फ इतना है कि ख्याल के मुकाबले में आजादी ज्यादा है अच्छा अच्छा इसलिए गाने वाला इसमें ज्यादा से ज्यादा बारीकियाँ और खूबसूरती पैदा कर सकता है तो इसी बात ने मुझे ठुमरी का शौक दिलाया हो हो अच्छा खास साहब ये तो बतलाइए कि ठुमरी और दादरे में फर्क क्या है आप ये समझिए कि गजल और गीत में जो फर्क है जी वो ही ठुमरी और दादरे में है हो गीत की गायकी 
غزل کے مقابلے میں زیادہ ہلکی پھلکی ہوتی ہے اچھا اچھا یہی حال دادرے کا ہے خوب خوب اچھا ایک بات اور بتلائیے خان صاحب ٹھمری دادرا اور غزل کی حد تک تو ہماری سمجھ میں آ گیا کہ آپ کو ان اصناف سے کیسے دلچسپی پیدا ہوئی مگر یہ سمجھ میں نہ آیا کہ آپ کو پہاڑی گیت گانے کا شوق کیوں کر پیدا ہوا بات یہ ہے کہ میرے والد مرحوم کا تعلق جمبو اور کشمیر کی ریاست سے تھا جی اس لیے میرا کافی وقت اس علاقے میں گزرا ہے جی پہاڑی گیت اس علاقے کی ایک خاص چیز ہے جی سنتے سنتے مجھے بھی دلچسپی ہوئی اور میں گانے لگا خوب خوب پہاڑی گیت کا ذکر چل نکلا ہے تو جی چاہتا ہے کہ آپ سے ایک گیت سنیں اگر آپ مناسب سمجھیں تو پھر شوق سے سنیے
sorry about that okay so next one we heard thumri from khan sahab until now let's listen to a short presentation of a ghazal so he sang so many of these ghazals during that time in fact it is said that before the legendary ghazal maestro mehdi hasan khan sahab became popular it was barkat ali khan sahab who ruled the stage so uh, let's listen to one of such ghazals by barkat ali khan sahab and of course this is set to dadra tal speech on 05 gazal wa aqua mean mp3 select slash speech off jua ke khab be tes ki ne istada but de jua ke khab be जाब तो दे बदे बुझे तपिशे बदे बुझे हदे बुझे तपिशे दीम जा तो दे मुझे तपिशे जो हूँ से नफरत है पिला किसे पिला पिला दे से साकी जहू से नफरत है लगर नहीं देता न देश तो दे लगर नहीं सद खुशी असद खुशे से मजे असद खुशी से मजे हाथ पाँव खोल गए असद खुशे से मेरे हाथ पाँ गए कहा जो उस दे जरा मेरे पाँव तो दे कहा जो उस दे जरा मेरे पाँव तो दे वाह सच अ स्मॉल शॉर्ट क्रिस्प प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अ गजल राइट दिस इज हाउ द सिंगिंग वॉज प्रेजेंटेड इन दोज डेज राइट आई एम श्योर when you listen to this music we are all reminded of uh, the era uh, of the 40s and the 50s when the music was very short crisp to the point you know not much instrumentation 
at the same time uh producing the same effect so if you listen to all these legendary singers you know they have so many recordings which are like hardly 3 minutes 4 minutes maximum 5 minutes but even in that short time they just have such an amazing impact on the listeners right that is the greatness of all these legendary maestros so now to conclude with as always we have a thumri by barkat ali khan sahab in rag bhairavi with which we always conclude our session and the thumri the, the composition is none other than the very very popular composition that is sung very often even in today uh baju band khul khul jaye सांवरिया ने ऐसा जादू डारा सेट टू ताल दीप चंदी सो हेवी गो खां साहब विदराग भैरवी ठुमरी बंद खुल खुल Oh uh-huh. 
नजर लग गई so let's you know really uh, offer our humble salutations and pay our obeisances to this legendary singer khan sahab ustad barkat ali khan sahab and uh, let's listen to more of him and several other such amazing maestros and also as i mentioned uh, during the session let's also listen to uh, this genre of semi classical music also right Uh, just gives a totally different perspective to our singing or listening experience right so with that we conclude our session for today this was session number 31 so session number session number 32 will be held on the second sunday of june june 11th uh june 11th 2023 time we will let you know when the date comes closer so please stay tuned and until then happy listening happy appreciating thank you and namaskar